In the next 10 days, the current Chief Justice, Sophia Kufu, turns 70 and would be mandated by law to leave office as the second female Chief Justice. of Her retirement would also end her career on the Supreme Court bench, which lasted for 24 years. The exit of Chief Justice Ekufu would naturally create a vacuum which would have to be filled by someone else. Per Article 114 Clause 1 of the 1992 Constitution, the President has the power to appoint a Chief Justice in consultation with the Council of State and with the approval of Parliament. This therefore gives President Ekufuado the opportunity to appoint another Chief Justice after his appointment of Justice Sofia Ekufu two years ago. Speculations have been rife on who the President will nominate to be the head of the judiciary. Names of two Justices of the Supreme Court, Justice Jones Doche and Justice Enin Yebwa, have come up as the contenders for the position. But it must be noted that the President does not necessarily have to appoint any seven Supreme Court judge to be Chief Justice. Ghana has had 13 people including Sir Akukosa, J. Sarkodie Ado, Edward Ekufu Ado, E. A. L. Bannerman, Samuel Azukrap, F. K. Apalu, and E. M. P. Soa occupying the position of Chief Justice since independence. Under the current dispensation, which is the Fourth Republic, six persons have so far occupied the highest position in the judiciary. Philip Edward Archer was the first to be appointed and served from 1991 to 1995. At the time of his appointment by Jerry John Rollins, Justice Archer had already retired as a judge. Upon his retirement in 1995 as CJ, Justice Isaac Kobna Donko Aban was appointed to succeed him. Justice Aban, before his appointment, has served as Chief Justice of Seychelles and returned in 1993 to the Ghanaian Supreme Court. As CJ, Justice Aban served from February 1995 to 2001 when he retired on health grounds. In 2001, a new Chief Justice was appointed under a new government with John Ajekum Kufour as President. The new Chief Justice in the name of Edward Kwame Riedu assumed office after being on the bench for over 34 years and serving on the Supreme Court for 11 years. He served for two years and also retired on health grounds. President Kufour then appointed George Kinsley Aqua in 2003 as successor to Justice Riedu. Justice Aqua, at the time of his appointment, had served as a judge of the Apex Court for 13 years and was among the senior most judges at the Supreme Court. He served for four years till his death in 2007. After the death of Justice Aqua, Justice Georgina Tudora Wood was then appointed as Chief Justice making history as the first woman to take over the position. Her appointment came with some controversy due to the fact that some senior Supreme Court judges at the time, such as Justice Mega, Bamfordado, Atububa, and Ekufu, had been sidestepped by President John Kufour. Justice Wood, at the time, had only served five years at the Apex Court. She went on to perform her duties as CJ for 10 years and retired in June 2017. During this time, she worked with four different presidents, President Kufour, Atta Mills, Mahama, and Ekufuado. In 2017, President Ekufuado, who is also a lawyer with many years of experience, appointed Justice Sofia Ekufu as CJ. The appointment of Justice Ekufu returned the judiciary to the days where seniority was considered, a tradition which has been in the legal practice for ages. Now, with a new appointment to be made in the coming days, will the president continue the tradition of seniority or take a cue from President Kufour? If the president decides to follow the tradition of seniority, then there will be three people who will be eligible to be considered. Justice Julius Ansa, who was appointed in 2004, Jones Doche and Enin Yebwa, who were both appointed in 2008 to the Supreme Court. Out of these three, Justice Ansa is likely to be overlooked as he would be retiring in the early months of 2020, leaving the Justices Doche and Yebwa to battle it out. Though the two men were appointed to the Supreme Court at the same time, 
Justice Doche remained senior because he was called to the bar two years before in Inyebwa. Justice Doche is known for his progressive stance, such as advocating for the reformation of the country's criminal justice system to allow for non-custodial sentences. Justice Doche is also famously remembered for the popular quote that is used to describe graft in the country, create, loot and share. We have to put little measures here and there to make sure that looting the public place does not, it's not easy or it doesn't pay to loot the public place. Even though the Supreme Court judgment comes under my name, uh, those who are familiar with the work of the appellate court system or the constitutional court will know that before a judgment comes out like that, we consider what is on your table at a material time, what your expertise are, and therefore the president can say, looking at what is on your table, it is for you to go and utter that particular judgment. On his part, just as in Inyebwa, is said to be one of the country's best brains in civil procedure. Just like his contender, he served as a justice of the High Court from 2002 to 2003 and a justice of the Court of Appeal from 2003 to 2008. In the landmark election petition case, Justice Yewa is remembered for asking the EC to organize a new election as he could not rely on an election fraud with a lot of more practices and violations, siding with the arguments of then petitioner Nanai Kufuado. He's also associated with football and serves as the chairman of the disciplinary committee of the Federation of International Football Associations, FIFA. I was on the bench and uh, I had no time to enter into football, so I decided that the little that I could do was to just serve on the disciplinary committee the Appeals Committee, sorry, so that once in a while when cases were listed before us, we could bring our experience to bear and uh, try and dispose of the cases in earnest. So, which of these two people will become the seventh Chief Justice of the Fourth Republic? Whoever is chosen without a doubt will have to deal with the myriad of issues facing the judiciary. Would the person continue with the conservative ideals of the outgoing Chief Justice? How would the new CJ deal with issues of law school admissions? These questions will be answered with an announcement soon to be made by President Nanai Kufado as to who becomes the new Chief Justice of the Republic of Ghana.